Here we are outside Prime Media Place where we waited with great anticipation for the arrival of our Olympic heroes, our Olympic medalists and the delegation from Sasko. I've got the Soweto Gospel Choir warming up in the background and they're doing a fabulous job of entertaining us while we wait. And for these athletes, I, I'm sure that they're going to be overwhelmed by the response that they, they're getting from South Africans. They've left the city, London, in high euphoria, high scenes of jubilation there. And they're coming to South Africa, which is experiencing exactly the same emotions. It's absolutely wonderful the way sport brings the nation together and leads SA. I mean, very much exciting that we have so many medals this year, unlike Beijing. So we all happy. I'm not sure you see all of us here. We are all happy and excited. Obviously, this is the start of the beginning of the new things. We're gonna get more. I'm sure 2016 in Brazil. We need to work hard now to make sure that we produce more champions, more sportsmen, more development in the country. I am so so excited. I mean, what a way to lead the nation um, with sport. It has inspired so many people. I mean, for me, I'm so excited to meet Casta Semenya. She's been through so much. And I just think that it's actually great that South Africa is coming together to honor these people for achieving great things. And if we keep having stories like these, success stories, you know, maybe we can just become a better nation by just talent. The horrible thing is that we don't know enough about these athletes. And I think when we saw them on the world stage, we were like, wow, you guys are amazing. And I think if this can teach us to, I don't know, just to uplift them, salute them, put them on a pedestal more, um, I think it will be awesome for them, you know, and for us so that we can believe in heroes again. Today is a day we're calling and we're labeling Victory Tuesday. It's Victory Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen, because you see the eight or nine medalists. They are the heroes and heroines of the day, ladies and gentlemen. What we have seen today is again national pride. And despite some people saying that sport doesn't bring people together, let me tell you, it does. South Africans were out in full force and millions were watching on television and listening to radio when our heroes and heroines came back. Ladies and gentlemen, we're calling it 3 to one not a 3 to one first, but three gold, two silver and one bronze. And as much as we got uh, so many medals, we came close to winning much more. And really it's a proud moment for South Africa to be part of this celebration. And on behalf of DDSA, the Ministry and the Department of Sport, as well as our partners uh, at SESCOC, together with all the sponsors of the team, uh, the management, the coaches, the staff, the backup team, really congratulations to you all. Well done guys, and it just all goes well, Chef de Michon. It just all goes well going forward to, for South Africa. Thank you Yusuf for you and Lead South Africa. Thank you for always making us feel home when we come home. Thank you. Cameron, and I just want to ask you one quick question. You've been back since Tuesday. How has life been since arriving back in South Africa? It's been hectic. <laughs> That's the only word to describe it, I think. Everybody's saying our, our lives have changed forever and you know they say you work uh, 10 years to become an overnight success and I think that's a story for all of us. Yeah. I definitely think I'm still on cloud nine. <laughs> I think every morning I wake up and I look at my medal and I'm like, it's fine. <laughs> I didn't watch your race. Tell me, tell me from your perspective, the last 50 meters, what were they like? Uh, it's like uh, after the, the, the hard work I've done, man, I've got to grab something. So when I see those ladies, they were a little bit tired. Uh, I just have to take a <laughs> I just had to pull my table, you know, table boost, so yeah. <laughs> uh, the Deputy Minister has hijacked me to tell you a story that he told us in London. It says that we didn't just uh, win three gold medals, two silver medals and a bronze. We are a lucky country. We have three gold, two silver, one bronze and an Oscar. <laughs> 